neonatal circumcision model. Although controversial in some settings, neonatal circumcision is a required procedural skill of obstetrics and gynecology training. Students and residents are typically exposed to this procedure on the postpartum floor in a hands-on learning approach. In this video, we will demonstrate a simple and inexpensive model that can be used to teach basic circumcision techniques through simulation. The learning objectives for this video are to demonstrate the construction of an inexpensive neonatal circumcision model, provide an introduction to basic circumcision methods using the model, including Mogan and Gomco techniques, and review some important pointers for simulation training using the circumcision model. All of the materials used to construct the circumcision model can be obtained on a hospital postpartum ward. The materials list for this project includes an infant pacifier, nitrile glove, clipboard, and a circumcision set with either a Mogan or Gomco clamp. As you will see, this model can be easily constructed in a few simple steps. To begin, the pinky finger of a nitrile glove is removed with scissors. A small hole is cut in the tip of the finger of the glove to simulate the opening of the foreskin. The finger of the glove is then placed over an infant pacifier. The glove covered pacifier is then placed through the circular clip opening of the clipboard. The simple model is now ready to be used. We refer to the American Academy of Pediatrics Policy Statement and the WHO Manual for Circumcision for the instructional content. A five-minute instructional session is performed using a PowerPoint presentation. The following objectives are covered. Indications and contraindications for circumcision. Preparation for circumcision, including patient counseling and necessary supplies. Review of Mogan and Gomco clamps, including use and assembly and complications of circumcision. The first steps of the procedure are common to use of both the Mogan and Gomco clamps. The neonatal genitalia is briefly inspected for an absence of hypospadias and bilaterally descended testes. An antiseptic swab is then used to cleanse the skin at the base of the penis. Installation of 1% lidocaine without epinephrine is used to perform a dorsal nerve block at the 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock positions at the base of the penis. After allowing time for the nerve block to set up, the penis is then prepped with betadine. The procedure site is then draped with sterile towels. In the rest of the video, we will use the model to simulate the various techniques for neonatal circumcision. First, we will review the Mogan clamp technique. The opening of the foreskin is grasped at the 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock positions. Adhesions between the glands and the foreskin are broken up with a hemostat. The amount of foreskin to be removed is then marked by crushing the dorsal aspect of the foreskin just above the corona. The foreskin is then introduced into the Mogan clamp. The foreskin is retracted through the clamp until the end of the dorsal marking is reached. The beveled side of the clamp faces the glands in order to protect this part of the penis. The clamp is enclosed and left in place for 3 to 5 minutes. A scalpel is then used to cut the foreskin flush with the clamp. The clamp is then opened and removed. Using gentle pressure, the circumcised foreskin is retracted to expose the glands. Hemostasis is assured and a sterile dressing with petroleum jelly is applied. 
Next, we will review the GOMCO technique. First, the clamp is inspected to ensure a matching size bell and base. Most GOMCO clamps are inscribed on the post of the bell and the underside of the base with their respective sizes. Again, the foreskin is grasped at the 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock positions. Adhesions between the glands and the foreskin are broken up with a hemostat. A dorsal slit must almost always be created in order to place the bell of the GOMCO clamp. This is done first by crushing the foreskin to be removed with a hemostat just above the corona. The crushed foreskin is then cut open with scissors. Crushing the foreskin allows for hemostasis. The foreskin can then be easily retracted and any remaining adhesions can be taken down with a blunt probe. The bell of the GOMCO clamp is then placed over the glands and the foreskin is then held in position over the bell with the hemostat. Alternately, a sterile safety pin can be used to secure the foreskin over the bell. The bell and safety pin can then be pulled through the hole in the base of the GOMCO clamp. Alternately, the foreskin can be secured in place with a hemostat placed through the hole in the base. The foreskin is then pulled through the opening in the base of the clamp until the end of the dorsal slit is reached. The bell protects the glands of the penis. The bell is secured in the rocker arm and the nut is tightened down. The foreskin is cut with a scalpel flush with the bell. The clamp is left in place for 3 to 5 minutes. The clamp is then disassembled and removed. The bell is then gently removed. Hemostasis is assured and a sterile dressing with petroleum jelly is applied. We use an evaluation tool to document learn proficiency with both techniques. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video on construction and use of a neonatal circumcision model.